Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Yeah, this is another wonderful Sunday. This is another glorious Sunday. This is another beautiful Sunday, the 5th of November 2023. 5th November 2023. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. What a wonderful month that we just entered, November 2023. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Yes, I remain your humble pastor, Mrs. Unisage, of Jesus Power Assembly of All Nations, 9,000 Gents. Gent is in Belgium. Hallelujah. Paraventure, you are coming to worship with us. Our weekly activities, every Wednesday, we are having our Bible studies from 7 o'clock to 8.30. And every Friday, we have our healing and deliverance services from 7 o'clock as well to 8.30 as the Spirit of God leads. Hallelujah. And every Sunday like today, we have our Holy Ghost service. Praise God forever. And of course, every first Friday of the month, we are having our general all night, our all night where we come together to pray and put Satan where he belongs. Praise God forever. And every first Sunday of the month, which is today, is our Holy Communion. Praise God. Hallelujah. Where we take the flesh and the blood of Jesus Christ to bring down every satanic stronghold in our lives or wherever they are hiding in our place. So today, I'm going to be talking very shortly on a Christianity. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Many of us these days, we are taking Christianity for granted. They want to tell us this morning where Christianity actually starts from. Christianity lies in our hearts. Hallelujah. Christianity is not in our mouths. Christianity is not in our head. Christianity is not in our hands. Christianity lies in the heart. In the heart. As children of God, as people who want to make heaven, as someone who wants to see good days, all the days of your life on earth, as someone who wants to experience heaven on earth, hallelujah, Christianity lies in your heart. Praise God forever. Many of us these days, we say we go to church. Because we go to church, we say we are Christians. Many of us these days, we say we read our Bible. Because we read our Bible, we say we are Christians. No, 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 no. Christianity is in your heart. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. What do I mean by that? What you do, the things you do from your heart. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the man speaks. And the Bible says, our belly flow rivers of living waters. So if you don't have that living water in you, Praise God. And Jesus is the living water. The living water is not in our head. It's not in our hands. It's in the belly. Hallelujah. It flows to the heart. Praise God forever. Christianity is in the heart. Many people today, the way that they take Christianity, they feel maybe because I go to church, you know, because I, I, I am doing the things of God or because I am, you know, I am, uh, I am having this position in the church or because I attend all services, or because I don't know what people take or what people think about Christianity. But I'm here today to tell us that Christianity is in the heart. Hallelujah. Many of us, what we do, you know, we say we are Christians, but what we do does not really portray Christianity. There are some of us, you know, our heart is full of darkness. You know, you say you are a Christian. You know, there are people, you know, I always say to people, anything you are doing, do it for real. Do it for real. That's Christianity. That's Christianity. Christianity is the very life of Christ in us. Let your life be real. That's Christianity. Don't live under pretense. Let your life be real. You know, if you are greeting somebody, greet for real. If you love someone, love for real. If you are helping someone, help for real. If you are attending service, attend for real. Whatever you are doing, do it for real. That is Christianity. Praise God forever. The life we are living now, many people are taking Christianity for granted. And the news there is that, the good news there is that, you know, Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. And soon and very soon, Jesus is coming. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon. 
whether we like it or not, no matter how, we cannot stop the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We can't stop his second coming at all. He is coming very, very soon. And how soon is that? Nobody knows because the Bible tells us that Jesus is going to come like a thief. He's going to come like a thief. Praise God forever. He's coming very soon. And the Bible also tells us that on the last days, the love, the love, the love of many, the love people have for Christ is going to wax cold. I don't know what surprises people. When people begin to lack love for God in these days, when people begin to do their own things instead of the things of God these days, I don't know why people are shocked or people are surprised. Nothing surprises me. If you study your Bible and you know what the Bible says, nothing will surprise you. The actions of people will not surprise you. The way people respond to the things of God will not surprise you because God has already said it. Because God knows the ending to the beginning. He has already told us. He said, the love of many will was cold on the last days. Men will be lovers of themselves instead of lovers of God. Praise God forever. So the prayer we are praying every day is that Lord, help me to finish the race that I have started with you. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. That is the prayer that we pray every day. That what we have been doing from the beginning, that love that we God bestowed in us that we have been demonstrating, it is the prayer of anyone who wants to really enter heaven or who wants to see better things in his or her life, you know, it is that prayer that we need to pray that, Lord, give me the grace to finish the race. Apostle Paul said, oh, I'm happy. God, I praise you for giving me the grace to finish what I have started. It's one thing to start and it's another thing to finish. Praise the Lord forever. So Christianity is the very life of Christ in us. Christianity lies in your heart. There are a lot of people, they are not portraying what they are saying. There are a lot of talkers, you know, a lot of talkers. People talk a lot. People say things a lot, what they want to say. You know, many pastors, they preach, you know. Christianity is not in your preaching. Just the way I'm preaching to you, Christianity is not in this preaching. Christianity must come from my heart. Whatever I do, if it's not connected to God, if it's not connected to the root, if it's not connected to what God expects from me as having his very own life, I am wasting my time. Christianity is not in our talking. Christianity is not in uh, 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 the things that we do in church. It's in your heart. Whatever you do, whatever you do, do it in love. Whatever you do, do it for real. Hallelujah. Many people don't understand this. Many people just think maybe, oh, you know, uh, my going to church, you know, yes, it's good to go to church. It's good to do all that. It's good to do everything. But is it for real? You're coming to church. Is it for real? Or you have an intention? Because many people have different intentions why they are in church. People have different intentions why they are in church. If your intention is to serve God, you are going to enjoy God in fullness. You know, but if your intention is to look for one thing or the other, you're looking for a miracle. You say, oh, let me go to that church. I will get my miracle. Hallelujah. And you wait one year, two years, or you wait one month, two months, the miracle is not forthcoming. And you zap, you leave, and go to another church. You become a church prostitute. People don't understand how God reacts to things. Hallelujah. These days, people don't fear God. You know, or maybe your intention can be to go to church and destroy the church. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. People have different intentions why they go to church. But I'm here to tell you today, whatever your intention is, why you go to church, God is searching your heart. And it is in your heart. What is in your heart is what God is going to use to take you to where you are going to. And it's what is in your heart that will make on the last days for you to see God or to go with the, with the devil. Hallelujah. In Christianity, I say this and I will say it over and over. In Christianity, there is no 50-50. And also in Christianity, do not wait for man to praise you. Do not wait for human to praise you. Do not wait for human to tell you, oh, you are doing this good, you are doing this right. Jesus, God Almighty, is the rewarder of the diligent. Whatever you are doing, if it is real, God knows it. And he's going to reward you. Hallelujah. And when God is rewarding you, the whole world will see you. You'll be glowing. You'll be glowing. They will know your secret. Praise God. Nobody knows how water enter into coconut. Into coconut. Nobody can fathom it. Coconut, when you break it, it has water. How did that water get there? That is how God blesses people. That is how God uplifts people who serve him from the heart. God look at your heart. God is not looking at your head. God is not looking at your physical. God is not looking at 
um, uh, you know, what you, what you, what you have. God is not looking at anything. God is not looking at the, the influence. God is not looking at uh, uh, what, what you have made with your hands. God is not looking at what you have acquired. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. If God is looking at what you have acquired with your hands, you know, <laughs> I think many people, I think some people, after some people have been blessed, you know, I would be the number one to move there, to move to that blessing. Praise God forever. If God is looking at what you have acquired with your hands, physical blessings like this, praise God, but God is not looking at that. It's good to have there. It's good to have there. God is not looking at that. What is looking at is your heart. So how is your heart with him? How is your heart with him? Whatever you are doing, are you doing it out of love because you love God? Or you are doing it because you want people to see you and praise you? Whatever you do and people praises you, you have gotten your reward. Be very sure. That is the reason why people get little, little, uh, little answers to their prayers. You know, little answers. Whatever you do, whatever you do, I learned that from the very onset. Many, many years ago, it's still the same thing. Whatever I want to do for God, I come during the week and do it in this altar. Whatever I want to give to God, I come during the week and do it in this altar. Give it in this altar, lock the door, and go back. Praise God forever. Jesus said, whatever your right hand is giving, do not let your left hand know. There's some people, they want everything they do to be announced to the world. To the world, what can the world give to you? Jesus is the rewarder of the diligent. So whatever you do, he's looking at your heart. He's looking at that praise you need from there. He's looking at that reward you need from there. But I'm telling you, as Christians who want to see better and good days in your life, do not allow men to praise you for anything. Praise God. Whatever you do, do it in the secret of the Almighty God. And he will reward you in the open. Hallelujah. People will see you today glorious. Tomorrow they will see you more glorious. Next tomorrow they will see you more glorious. The other day they will see you more glorious. Because God is rewarding you for your diligence. Hallelujah. No one can fathom your secret or your movie. No one can do, no one, no matter how, they will search about you, they can't. So I'm here to encourage somebody this morning that Christianity is in the heart. Whatever you do, let it come from your heart. Whatever you are doing, let it be from your heart. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. That is what time can take us this morning to do in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe as you hear this message, do not put it in the bin. Do not put it in the, in the garbage. You know, study it. Pray with it and allow the Spirit of God Almighty to usher you into who he is and to have his very life because Jesus is coming soon and that is why you can see all what is happening all over the world all over the world things are happening things are happening things are happening all over the world hallelujah be prepared to meet with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that is my message for you this morning because it's looking at your heart it's looking at your heart what is in your heart is reality in your heart or fake life is in your heart hallelujah whatever you do do it for real do it for real because Jesus is going to come like a thief. Hallelujah. So good morning to everyone. And I will see you on the next uh, time. Hallelujah. Goodbye. Bye-bye. God bless you all.